Hut, hut, hike. Hello again, my fellow Bears fans. Your boy Roy for Chicago Football Talk. And the first play that I want to break down here, a video style on YouTube here, piggybacks off of the post that I put up on Chicago Football Talk where I broke down it, the uh, Bears defensive blockers, how they blocked for Charles Tillman on that return there. It, they were significant blocks, but what was significant was that they were able to hustle, and they were able to hustle because, as I mentioned in that post, they were able to rest for 46 minutes because the Bears went on a very dominating opening drive of the third quarter. Quarter. This play is from that drive, and it allows, it's the fourth and one play, it allowed the defense to rest for an additional 13 and a half minutes, meaning if they didn't accomplish this uh, fourth and one conversion here, they would have been on the field. Instead, they were allowed to rest for another 13 and a half minutes because of this play. But what I want to point out to you is some things that may have gone noticed about the chemistry between Cutler and Marshall. So let's get right into it. As we take a look at the pre-snap, we'll go through the routes from top to bottom, all right? Kyle Adams is going to actually run to the numbers there to the 40-yard line and then turn around and sit there and wait for Jay Cutler. As you see here, Matt Spath is going to do the same, except he's going to go between the hash marks and also between the two linebackers there. And then we see that Michael Bush is going to go out into the flat and wait for Cutler should he need him there. Should he be the only option? Kellen Davis is actually going to go out to the right and go right past the sticks uh, between the numbers and the sideline there on the right side of the line of scrimmage. And then last but not least, Brandon Marshall is going to also find a hole to sit into uh, somewhere on the 45-yard line right on the numbers. As we move forward into this play, we see that Kyle Adams is actually having trouble getting away from his defender as he's starting to fall into him. Notice here that Matt Spath is covered by both linebackers. He is in the middle between them, and Jay Cutler sees that as well. And lastly, at the bottom of the screen, we see that Marshall has already passed his, the defender that was lined up over him, and the defender is stopping playing the sticks. He's going to actually cover Kellen Davis on this play. So Cutler pretty much has nowhere to throw to. As we move forward, we see that Jay Cutler wants to throw the ball to Marshall, but he sees that there's a linebacker in his path where Brandon Marshall is uh, on the numbers on this play. Now, this is where we get into the beauty of the play. What I want you to notice, we're going back to the uh, a closer view here of the quarterback. Jay Cutler is in his pump fake, and as he brings the ball down, he realizes, hey, there is a little bit of a hole, and I want you to get into it, Brandon Marshall. And he's basically telling Brandon Marshall with his hand signal here, I'm going to throw you the ball, and I'm going to throw you to this spot that I'm going to motion to, so you need to move over. And it's very quick. When I encourage you to go back and look at this at full speed, and you'll see it's extremely quick. So he motions to Brandon Marshall. Jay Cutler gets into his motion as he throws off his back foot, threading the needle between those two linebackers. He actually is going to, even though he's going to fire it in there it's going to get some air and, and actually go right over the top and as we move forward we see that's where Brandon Marshall has started to move away from the numbers and closer to that spot that Jay Cutler motioned him to and that's all about chemistry and timing as we see it goes just out of the outstretched hand of the linebacker Jay Cutler improvising telling Marshall where to go Marshall being smart enough having played with Cutler enough to know I got to look for those type of uh, signals body language by Jay Cutler in order to get open on this play. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that breakdown and the little subtleties that you notice when you go back and look at the film in slow motion. You can see little, little, little things like that that I'm sure most people missed as I missed it. And when I uh, reviewed it, I was like, oh, look at that. I have to do a breakdown and share this with my fellow Bears fans. As always, thanks for watching. Your boy Roy for Chicago Football Talk. Look for more breakdowns. Look at ChicagoFootballTalk.com for more posts. We're going to keep things going during the off week. Your boy Roy. Peace and I'm out.